in this video i'm going to explain how we can develop this nice beautiful chart but before going to explain step by step detail let me just explain what information this chart gives us so this chart has actually three type of data points the one is green which show an increase in the data set the one show red decrease in the data set and you can also see sometime the orange dot which means there is no change in the data set okay the nice thing in this chart it's also connected with a timeline slicer and you can filter out for any month you want for example you can filter for november month you can filter for october month and you can also filter for a range of months as well if you want you can also filter by quarters by years as well now let me just explain uh, this data table as well one of the best feature is there is no helper column needed for this template all of the calculation has been done in power query and you will just update this data table hit a refresh key and all of your chart will be updated let me just show you how we can actually update our data set first you need to delete all of these row you can select uh, the row and control shift down key delete all of the rows now you can also delete this information as well copy paste your data set Go ahead right click paste as a value only now you can see this showing as a percent value but actually this is the amount of so what we need to do we just need to click this one home tape and just convert this to let's say currency once i converted this to a currency i will just need to hit a refresh key and you can see all of my calculation has been updated but the only question is we want this to be in a dollar so this is very simple right click format x axis go to numbers and just make it for example uh, accounting and just put the dollar so this is how uh, you can use this template for your own purpose the first thing we need to understand this chart in this chart we have actually four series the one showing increase the one showing decrease the one showing no change and the one series is for all of the data you can see it's represented by blue the first step we need to load this data into power query editor i already load this data so let me just show you the steps the first tip i just took the data from source nothing edit then i add index starting from one and index starting from zero how you can add just simply go to add column and index column starting from zero starting from one next i merge the queries if you just go to the home tab click on merge queries you will see window like this one i merge the query with itself and the first index starting from zero with merge index starting from one nothing else i did i use the lift outer join as a matching type only the sale column i expect mean i just go and expand only the sale percent column once i expand the data okay you can see the formatting of the sorting order has been this order on the very end if we just go of this table you can see the one is on the very bottom of the row what we need we just need to sort this data again on index starting from one now we will just add the up column the down column the equal column so how actually we add up column if i just show you this percent you can see this is the first row this is the second row and now we can easily subtract this from this one and it will give us the difference so if i just show you this up column what is actually the up column if the sale percent if this column is greater than sale percent one then give us a value otherwise don't give us any value so actually this give us all of the value which are greater than on a first column then we just make down column which is actually sale percent is less than sale percent one column and then just equal column 
if cell percent is equal to cell percent mean if the new column we just extract is equal to the cell percent mean the previous row is equal to current row and then we just remove unwanted column and we have left only up down and equal columns that is all about we just need to close and load this data this data now we need to load this data to a pivot table so i will just right click load to and pivot table report newer sheet just press ok the dates field will be on a rows field this make automatic grouping in this case we don't want the grouping so we will remove years quarters and months now we need to input the main column which is the sales column then we need to move the up column then we need to move the down column and then we need to move the equal columns this is almost done what we need we just need to go click on the pivot table and pivot chart we need to insert this uh, combo chart and for now i will just insert the line chart this is make it easy for us and press ok so this insert the chart just uh, for now i will hide all of the buttons and for the sake of formatting i will uh, click and insert a timeline slicer on a date field now so october there is a data let me just now we need to format this uh, chart okay the first thing we need to click on the chart and go to format chart series and uh, up series on the up series we don't want the outline the shape fill in this case we want the green that is fine now we need to click again on the down column and for this we need the shape field to be red and outline will be no outline and now we need to click on again this equal of course they automatically did this color which is totally fine but we need to click a uh, shape fill orange shape outline no outline I think we are done we just need to delete this legend mm. all we need to do is just copy this chart and paste it on a, let's say this sheet increase the size of charts and I think we need to copy this timeline slicer you can do whatever you want just do it and play with them Now all you need to do if you want you can uh, format the timeline and that is all about if you want you can just do a little more formatting uh, go to click on the chart go to format shape outline no outline and now go to insert insert a shape this this shape and just make it large enough shape fill no fill and shape outline is uh, let's say this outline we just want a little more let's say two point and just fit it now if you want you can format this x axis is per your data so if you have dollar amount you can change whatever you want i think that is all about i hope you enjoyed this video if you like the video please subscribe this channel